This is a Brother MFC J5720DW and basically the print quality has gone to pot. So I've run uh, a couple of print head cycle, uh, cleaning cycles, absolutely waste of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the cartridges out and show you how to clean this uh, print head manually. It's a little bit difficult. Um, there's the basically open up the scanner cover, lift, lift it up, try not to break it, doing this one handed, and you'll basically see that you can't actually easily access the print head. So what you can do is you can it's tucked down in the corner here, so you push it across with your fingers and then you can see no you can't, you can't Okay, so now you can see. I can, that's the print head there. So you can. The, that's the, the the resting position. And as I said, you get your fingers in there and you push it across. Don't touch that. That's an alignment thing. Slide it across to midway. And what we're going to do is we're going to get some soft paper towel, and we're going to slide it underneath here so that when we inject into the little nozzle holes, and you can see one down the bottom there when we inject warm water into the nozzle holes you flush out the inclines. So I'm just getting a bit of paper towel, I'm just going to cut it into three strips, you can tear it if you like. The reason that I've got to cut it and not fold it is you just, I've found that you can't actually get a folded bit of, uh, of paper towel underneath the printhead. So these and we'll use them successively to, to slide underneath the printhead and then all the flushed uh, crap will uh, will go out onto the, onto the... So the idea is that you put this Slide the print head along. The lid wants to keep collapsing, so slide the print head along so it's out of the way. Put that down into the into the trench there. What we want to do is slide this over it. So there you go. So hopefully you can see that the paper is protruding from both sides of the print head. Now we're ready to flush. So all I've got is pretty basic. Basically, it's it's a bit of a silicon tube, and this happens to be a fuel hose from a um, an old whippersnipper and I've, I've slid one inside the other so all I need to do, you can see that I've taken out magenta, cyan and yellow and I just need a, a, a hose that I can push onto the little um, protruding barbs that will that match with the, the ink cartridge there so it's that that gets penetrated by the little uh, plastic needle in there so I've got a jug there of um, probably 50, 60 degree water. It's pretty warm, it's just out of a kettle. And I'm going to suck that up with a just with a syringe. This happens to be a 50 mil syringe. If you Google it, do Google this on YouTube, you can see that people recommend using only three mils of water. And what I'm going to do now is let the air bubbles come up. And what I'm trying to do is trying to remove the air bubbles from the system so that we don't end up with air bubbles in the um, in the inclines. And you don't want that because I think basically the pumps are like little peristaltic pumps like blood pumps you get in the hospital and so that's now basically liquid locked and hopefully I can f use that to flush into the into the each ink successively. So that's um, syringe plugged into yellow and I'm just going to pump a little bit of liquid through not much and not hard pull that out Made a bit of a mess. You can see all of the yellow that's been flushed through there. So I'm going to do each of those in succession and see how he goes. I'm going to pull this little strip out now from under the print head. Um, here you go. I need a maxi pad and do it for each of the uh, each of the three colours. The black is pretty good, so I'm not doing it with black. So I'm just wrapping this back and forward and using my hands just to drag it back and forward over the print head get rid of any residual gunk. You can see that uh, looks like I've cut myself shaving. But no, so this is, uh, these are the three colours all in the bin. So hopefully that's enough. So a fair bit comes out and hopefully that's enough to blow out the, the print head. So I might just wash my hands. It's pretty in there, isn't it? Um, now the other thing is that with this particular printer you've got to leave them powered on because you'll hear them go did it did it did it click 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 in the middle of the night or or at some weird time and what the print uh, what the printer is doing is it's actually going through a tiny little cleaning cycle just to stop the ink drying out of the lines because in here you've got literally 3 or 400 millimeters of tiny little 
capillary lines that take ink from the cartridges through a little uh, peristaltic pump all the way into the print head in there. So that's how um, inkjet printers work these days. So I'm just going to slide these back in in no particular order, although I might just dry that out in there first because you can see it's very, very wet down at the bottom there. Okay, and these are aftermarket inks. There is a possibility, and Brother says this, that uh, aftermarket inks can cause damage to print heads and they won't warrant it and blah, 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 blah. But inks is obviously where companies like Brother make their money. So the printer itself is a price loss leader and they, you get these stupid little starter inks that have got about two mils in them and it's aftermarket, oh, sorry, it's, it's, they try and get their, uh, recoup their losses on people buying inks but I've never had any problems with, uh, with these Inabella inks. Um, you can see that they've got the factory or at least got a, a readable chip in them um, that communicates with the printer on ink, ink levels etc etc. Oh okay so that's the first one Black is good, yellow has still got a bit of blurring, cyan is pretty good, there's some bleed and magenta is excellent so um, that's a really really good start so I'm going to run it again so that was uh, before I did the head flush and this one is after I've done the head flush so pretty good result. Now um, there is a tiny bit of uh, cyan bleed into the yellow but that's just because we've used water to flush it out and there's just a bit of cross contamination that'll go away after uh, a few prints. Um, the other thing that I've done is I've printed out a whole stack of uh, this Laura Mipson, which is just dummy text for printing. Uh, I've just created a page of random text in different colours um, and that's, that's pretty good. So uh, all in all a success. Um, now be aware that sometimes to get the head to move you've got to actually power it off as into a hard disconnected power halfway through um, you can hit, you know, when you power it up and you hear the shuttle go across, when you hit the head transit across, otherwise the head is locked in place on the right hand side and you won't be able to move it. So It might take a few goes to get that right. <laughs>